take small steps out of lockdown six with limited relief on restrictions. The new rules kick in at midnight tomorrow with extra rewards for the fully vaccinated, allowing social gatherings of up to five adults. Restricted gatherings of two for... It's finally paying off. Activities we never considered freedoms are now rewards. Oh yeah, I'm excited to just get out. We said that when we got the 70% first dose, we'd be able to do some modest but meaningful things. From midnight tomorrow, there will be a sixth reason to leave. Vaccinated or only had one jab? I'm not going to have police out there uh, requiring people to prove that they've been vaccinated. There's a degree of good faith in this. The five kilometre travel... Oh, and we've had, you know, that need to sell, we've had buyers that need to buy. But the 9pm curfew stays. I know it's inconvenient. There are probably a lot of people out there who want to go shopping at 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, no, you're not. Today's changes come despite our highest daily case numbers since August 5 last year. <laughs> By that stage, nearly half of adult Victorians are going to be fully vaccinated, and we believe outdoor areas to fully vaccinated people are a safe way to, for us to take a, a, a step forward in this recovery. The Premier says there's no chance that will not be fine. <sighs> China's rise in the Pacific. Well, good morning from Australia. A synchronised announcement. It was three leaders, three nations across three time zones, united as one as a new great war. Thank you very much, pal. Appreciate it, Mr. Prime Minister. Vaccinated or vaccinated? Vaccinated. 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 Melbourne's road Porsche driver is facing new charges. He's accused of attacking police officers and stalking. The details are next. Also, the bigger dispute that could see the first strike at Cadbury in close to half a century. Why Harry and Meghan are... That stuff next. But Jackie Ryan is currently in the fight of her life, battling cancer for a third time. It was 16 years after her second mastectomy. She was told it had aggressively returned. Out of nowhere, uh, I learned that the cancer had spread to... <laughs> but now researchers at Sydney's Garvin Institute believe they could, identifying a molecule called RAC1. We've shown that inhibiting RAC1 can significantly reduce metastasis. Thanks to new state-of-the-art imaging, they've pinpointed a small period of time when RAC1... <sighs> As an operation controller in Victoria's COVID response team, there's a push for tighter construction controls following a deadly balcony collapse in Melbourne's east four years ago. Today, a coroner revealed what caused the tragedy that killed... <laughs> Anyway. The crash was biblical. The sound of it was just like nothing I've heard before. Uh, and of course, followed by the, by the, you know, the screaming and that sort of thing. It certainly could be prevented. Almost four years on, the coroner today ruled the balcony was built with an underside. Structures and a system for certification of maximum load capacity and signage. The coroner also recommends regular maintenance and inspections. Bruce Learman did not appear in the ACT Magistrates Court today due to COVID restrictions, but his lawyers say he'll be fighting the charges. The case resumes next month. The former American policeman who shot dead an unarmed Australian could walk... Just for manslaughter, Justine's fiancé says he's deeply saddened by the decision. A group of amateur astronauts is tonight orbiting more than 500 kilometres above Earth. It's the first ever civilian crew to blast off on board. Oh. To be clear. Take it 
Facebook is accused of burying evidence that links Instagram to mental health issues in teenage girls. But the tech giant denies keeping the secret from parents, saying the report doesn't tell the whole story. Instagram, an app which... <laughs> Support from the Wall Street Journal says Facebook not only knew that wasn't true, but kept it a secret for two years. The newspaper publishing the findings of leaked studies conducted by Facebook itself. The research examined the effect Instagram was having on the... Facebook increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. It's obviously extremely difficult when you open up your phone and you see the speed of Emerson Allison, perfect photos. Working from home is the same as getting a pay rise. Hear why next on 7 News. Also, expert help for parents looking for answers to deal with fussy eaters. And a Melbourne school cleaner tells what he saw in a child sex case. A school cleaner has given evidence in the hearing of a former Elstonwick principal accused of sexual assault. Malka Leifer allegedly abused three sisters at the Adas Israel School between 2001 and 2008. She's facing court after being extra... ...says a new working model has been created with many people keen to divide their time between the office and home. Pre-pandemic, working from home was just a pipe dream for executive assistant Carla Schultz. Now she's living it. Walking to... Oh. It's a little bit better than they might have expected. 8% of staff worked from home in 2019. It's now 40%. Overall, productivity is up. But... We say than we were before the pandemic. Sonny Mary Nelly, 7 News. It has been a strong day on the share market for one retail giant. Finance editor Gemma Acton has more. Thanks, Peter. Taking a positive lead from Wall Street overnight today, the clipped after today's weak jobs report while oil continues to push higher. And thanks to COVID-19, global consumer prices have been rising, but not nearly as fast as producer prices for materials that go into our consumer products. That's thanks to... Research. Forcing healthy habits can do more harm than good. To six-year-old Olivia and four-year-old Anton, fairy bread gets a particular approval. <laughs> And kids will still get the nutrition they need from a basic meal, so... <laughs> Breaking news involving Ben Cousins. That's right, Mitch, we're live to Perth with the details. Next, we'll also get the inside word on the D's Grand Final curfew, plus the mid-season moment which relaunched Ben Brown's career. Luke Beveridge turns the lights out on the Bulldogs' winning tradition. Welcome back. We begin with breaking news involving former West Coast champion Ben Cousins returning to Chief Football Ring reporter Tom Brown in Perth. And Tom Cousins is back in the good books with the AFL. Tim, Ben Cousins was formally invited to Brownlow because he was a 2005... <laughs> the AFL expect him at this stage to attend the Brownlow on Sunday night. Quite an incredible situation. Meantime, a lot of talk about the Demons' curfew. They attended a restaurant, some of the players, for a birthday party on the river here on Tuesday night. They're all left just before 9 o'clock. The reason, they've got a 9 p.m. Oh. Um, everyone's been very reasonable about it. Team, the winning team post grand finals, they will be presented in the city of Perth with the cup on the Sunday. Players not in a rush at this stage. Sliding doors. At the Demons Perth HQ, Ben Brown's about to live out his childhood dream. Just have a little classic red footy and um, mum and dad made me some goalposts in the, in the backyard down in Devonport and I'd run around and pretend I was playing in the grand final. This time last season, a knee injury. Demons trainer Selwood Griffith getting Brown's knee right, but even then the key forward was forced to earn his spot through the VFL. The first game that I played uh, back in the VFL got well beaten. Um, from there, probably needed to have a bit of a change in mindset and a change in mentality. And Brown with his third goal, he's got it! Holford, Melbourne can break. It's a 57 year drought. Taking each moment as it comes. Um, each player playing their role really well. Now, just putting the finishing touches on the grand final banner right behind me at the moment, and I've got Mel here, one of the lovely volunteers who's been hard at work. Mel, give us a little bit of a hint. What's the special message on the banner this year? I'm reminding the boys to drink, baby. And it
another one the Bulldogs post-match celebrations. Well, there was a little bit of a leak last weekend after their game against Port. Luke Beveridge wasn't too happy about it. He's addressed that today, saying that will be behind closed doors from now on. The Dogs are just one game from another flag. <sighs> in addition, for several years, the video uploaded onto social media. I'm not upset, but we're disappointed. Phone shouldn't be used to record the players in the dressing room and definitely shouldn't be sent to anyone. At their football club. It's been almost a decade since Seth Martin mentored a young Max Gorn at Melbourne. The pair set to face off in the biggest game of all. There's a strength in Stefan's game that we'll call on that will be important in that battle. Alex Keith is looking good to return. <laughs> in the department there after being sounded out initially by the Blues. Football clubs are going to cast on their um, far and wide, and, um, but no, we never got to the point where we had discussions. Scott will report to Andrew Dillon, who has effectively replaced Steve Hocking. Melina Saris is next with the forecast, and Melina, our settled spring weather has come to an end. It has. Much approaching cold fronts will bring windy and showery conditions over the next few days. I'll have all of those details right after the break. Spring weather as it turns windy and showery. After Tasman Sea tomorrow afternoon, a northerly airstream will freshen on Friday ahead of a cold front which is expected to cross the state on Saturday. A quick check of our capitals tomorrow sunshine for Brisbane, Sydney, and Canberra. Late showers for Adelaide. And and there is a severe weather warning in place for damaging winds across this broad area here. Gusty northerly winds will strengthen ahead of the cold front. Cloud will increase over the suburbs during the day. We could see some showers popping up in the late morning, but the bulk of the weather... <laughs> What's the way it is this Thursday, the 16th of September? Thanks for your company. For now, from the 7 News team, goodbye. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> Easy 2 will be back tonight from 5. For continuous news coverage, go to tomandbennews.24. And don't miss any of the fun from 6 with ABC for Kids. I wanna see you out that door, baby. Bye bye.